Bible Jam podcast. It's Thursday, December 9th. It's that time again. Take that day off. Hey! 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 Now, I tried to throw the snowman yeah, high, and I forgot that it's, pl- it's plugged in. It's plugged in. You can't do that. Can't I was do playing that. ping pong. I saw. It was good. Big backhand finish. Ping pong. Backhand finish. Ping you- pong. <laughs> big backhand. Big backhand finish. Um, are you good at the pong? I'm, I'm very good at ping. Are you more ping or are you more pong? Pong, for yeah, sure. There's no doubt about it. I'm we call it table tennis where I play. Brandon. Oh, sure. That's right. Did you know that, um, what are they called? Not. Uh, what's another name for bowling alley? A uh, bowling house. No. Uh, no. We no. don't need to get into it. Yeah, hey. I don't know what else a bowling alley is called. Uh, bowling. I'll look it up. Bowling you do the bit. alley. Different name. Look that up. Um, I was... Um, Skittle Alley? <laughs> a Skittle Alley? This is a b- synonyms for bowling alley. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and I've oh, I got to get Grammarly free today. Hold on one second. <laughs> Stupid. Hey, Dan, Rainbow Gem Plus has been rocking my world. Really? It is... Uh, I, I, ever since I got it, ever since I signed up for it, um, my hands... I used to have really, really hairy hands. Like werewolf style. Really? Hair's gone away. Like, but like only only on situation. the hands. Wow. So good for me. BrainwellGenPlus.com. Bowling center. Bowling lounge. Bowling arena. Bowling lounge. Bowling club. Bowling club. Uh, and then there are lanes. Bowling like, like you know. All right. Yeah. Never this mind. was good. This, this is a good is start to Thursday. Uh, guess what today is? Thursday? It's the start of Hanukkah. Oh, happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Yeah. Um, so we, you know, we have another reason to take the day off. Good. For, uh, for everyone out there that maybe doesn't celebrate Hanukkah. Okay. Um, but we do want to at least acknowledge yes, that today is the start of Hanukkah. That's right. Um, hope you have a wonderful Hanukkah season. Absolutely. So uh, I've, a rumor on the street is that they are, there's eight, eight. Eight days. Crazy nights? Eight crazy nights. Yes. So, uh, there's a menorah. Yeah. Light ha- some candles. Happy Hanukkah. Absolutely. Watch all of the Hallmark Hanukkah movies because they there are accurate. One of them. They're accurate. Oh, you mean all the other ones? Yeah. Double holiday, holiday date. Um, and then before then, we got a Joey Lawrence yes. uh, situation. Yeah. Uh, I've and not this seen year, that next, uh, next weekend, uh, I think it's on the last last night of Hanukkah is Love Lights. Love Lights and Hanukkah. And Hanukkah so right. you can look forward to Hallmark that. Um, hey, uh, another reason to take the day off is d- it's Dewey Decimal System Day. Thank goodness. <laughs> Long overdue, in my opinion. Absolutely. That's right. Um, I was uh, in the library the other day. I was trying to find a cookbook uh, that was written by the cast of All in the Family. Okay. They came together. They wrote a wrote a, a cookbook. I couldn't find it. I did find a book that just said Dan knows about Dewey Decimal System. Day. Interesting. That was the name of the you book. You know, it's funny. Since Tuesday, there haven't been any uh, food uh, spellings. <laughs> there was a poop spelling though. There so. was a poop spelling. Close right. enough. I do. Um, the Baja men are known most for who let the dogs out. However, did you know that every member of the Baja men were very good mathematicians. Um, they all were huge mathematicians, studied at Yale and Harvard, um, and, and, and just found their niche uh, singing Who Let the Dogs Out. But uh, one of them felt so strongly at post Who Let the Dogs Out about the Dewey Decimal System and how it was failing and people weren't getting, uh, uh, you know, giving it enough love. And that's why I said finally earlier, because this is the first ever National Dewey Decimal System Day. 2020, December 9th, is the first one. And you can thank the members of the Baja men who pushed for this for years and years. You want to know why they haven't made any more songs? It's not because Who Let the Dogs Out was weird and dumb and not a great song at all. It's because they've been working to get the Dewey Decimal System the credit it deserves. And now it's here. Congratulations, Baja men. Congratulations, Dewey Decimal System. Bram, back to you. Yes. That is what I see here. Yeah. Now, Dan, um, who created the Dewey Decimal System? The Baja Men. No, uh, who created it? Yes. Dewey, John Dewey. Uh, no, Melville. Melville Dewey? Melville Dewey. Yeah, John's brother. Uh, Takes all the credit every time. He really... 
He really does. Um, now, he was born on December 10th, which is why we celebrate on this day. Yeah. But Bahamut as well, Bahamut. I'm sure. They didn't hurt. No. Uh, back in 1851, and um, he created this system of um, library resource classification while working at the Amherst Ho uh, College Library at the age of 21. Um, and it was first published in 1876 and now is the most widely used system around the world in over 200,000 libraries in 135 countries. Wow. They all use the Dewey, the Decimal, Dewey system. Decimal System. Do you know what it is? Yeah, it's a system that they use to track where the library books are and how to find them. Yeah, but what, how does it work? Uh, it's based upon numbers and cards. Like you pull out this big drawer, and the numbers and the like the numbers would match, uh, you know, the rows of books alphabetically. It is, yeah. So it's there's ten main groups. That's right. And uh, they're all they all have their numbers. So there's zero 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 to zero nine nine. Yep. And that and then there's a different general works is in the one hundreds. Yep. Philosophy and psychology is in the two hundreds, and so on and so forth. And uh, he created this system. And it's been used ever since. So I'm just realizing that you were, when you started going to the library in the late 90s, they probably already started to move, like they started to do a lot of computer stuff. They did. Whereas growing up, like we had to n like not know it, but like know that that was the thing that, it, that was how you found the books. Yeah, I will say that even though, you know, we use the computers to find the, the specific book, it's still uh, though categorized yeah. by, the, by the system. The Dewey and so I would type in Orlando Magic Book. <laughs> and then it would tell me it's, you know, uh, what, what's uh, sports, uh, maybe, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, you know what so I'm saying. So it's a good system. Yeah, and it's a good system. You know, you had to bring some fire because coming off Llama Day, it was important that we got to the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I think so. I think so 100%. Yeah. Um, do you uh, have, a, we asked yesterday, um, basically a story that comes to mind when you uh, hear the word library. Do you have one that comes to mind? Uh, no, not particularly, but I probably could come up with something during the break. I got something, yeah, and we'll get do. to that in just a second here on... Take the day off. Take the day off. <laughs> Good. <laughs> if only there was a, a system for, uh, for the sound. The brain and button system. For the That's right. All, there it is. all over the place. Yeah. Um, the only story I have about a library, I don't think I could retell on this podcast, but I have told you in the car, it involved me and another kid in middle school. <laughs> that was in the library, uh, and it wasn't as dirty as it sounds, but it just isn't appropriate for this particular It was podcast. a little dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Killing me. It's a skosh. Yeah. How about this? If there's enough clamoring, I'll tell it on the Facebook wow. group. Wow. Tell it on the Facebook group. How about that? Yeah. yeah. Um, I have two stories. One, um, when I think about libraries, I think of my school library, and I think of the book fair. And yeah. for some reason, they, and I don't know if they still, it's still as big of a deal, but when I was a kid, book fair was it. Was it. Huge. it was huge. And I don't yeah. know why, yeah. but it was like kids will bring money and they'll buy books at the book fair. Big time. Now, um, my brother, Pat, yeah. uh, once went to the books, book fair and he, you know, is not buying books. They would have posters. He, you know, is not <laughs> buying books. Is he, uh, yes, said? he bought a ginormous uh, slam dunk competition poster nice. that had a picture of each of the winning dunks from the start of the dunk competition to whatever year it was that he got the poster. Oh my goodness! It's an I, awesome poster. Yeah, and when I think of my brother's room, I think about that, and I think about the book fair. Um, I also think when I think about libraries, I think of the amount of times that you and I, when we were teachers. Oh my goodness. Went to faculty meetings in that were library. held in oh, libraries. Yeah, we got so many stories and, now. And we would, you know, they, we had to be separated. Yes, uh, because, because we would, before I was a principal, I was a teacher and I worked with Brand, and he and I could not stop laughing during faculty meetings because, as you can imagine, everything was a bit. For the life of me, I don't know how they promoted me to principal. Because we, like, whoever was leading the meeting, it was, something would happen, and we would just, we couldn't keep it together. We just couldn't keep it together. There's no way around it. Did, did we laugh our way through a um, how to respond if there's a school shooting <laughs> presentation? Yes, we did. I'm sorry. But we knew. We knew what to do. The slides were funny. I don't <laughs> we had one where we had a boss the first year he was there give us a it was a hundred and some slide 
presentation on assessment. And then the next year, he gave the same presentation to the same faculty and did the same, it was three hours, did the same jokes, same everything. And I was just livid. (laughs) Yeah, you should be. Um, why do those meetings always happen at a library? Oh, they just do, though. You're right. Um, hey, let me tell you some stories about the library, if you don't mind. Um, uh, Ellie says that uh, when she thinks of the word library, she thinks about when she was eight years old, getting her library card and going to rent her first book from the library with the card. Yeah. It was such a big deal such a getting that deal. card, going to the library. You felt like you were cheating the system because you're getting books, DVDs. I yeah. went to get like a yeah. CDs so, um, to, and they're free. That's what I was going to say. When I realized they had movies at the library, it was a game changer. Yeah. I just went to the movie section. I don't need That's to go to Blockbuster no. anymore. No. Why would you? It would take a little while to get the new yeah, boys. Yeah, but, yeah. The but, new boys wouldn't be there. But you know what I'm saying? What are you seeing, Dan? Yeah. Uh, I never turned in my copy of Centennial by James Mishner uh, that I borrowed in 1992. Still have it. Never paid the fines. Jane, you reckless, just with abandon, just like it, no. It is a an interesting it's an system, honor system, right? Because it's you know if you take it, you got to bring it back by this date. If you don't, you have to pay a fine when you bring it back. But nobody's but your once credit you on that. no once you owe like it's just like uh you know oh boy yeah. <laughs> I guess I just won't bring it back. It's it's a tricky situation. It is tough because you if you ever go back to get another book, you have to pay the fine. That's the you thing. You have to pay the fine. The last book that you get from the library. Jane is, is never. And is it is, uh, is it libraries across the country or just in the county, I wonder? I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure that's just how it works. Yeah. Um, a lot of that stuff's online. Like even checking out a book at the library now, before COVID, you don't talk to anybody. No. Like you just scan the thing. It's amazing. It's unreal. Scan it's your card, scan the books, you're out the door. When um, I, I, when I went to the library uh, I, last year, there was a new library that opened up uh, close by, and the technology was just phenomenal. It was unreal. And uh, when you return the books, you just stack them on, and it just like knows. Yeah, somehow. it knows. It knows. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, Brian uh, says, when I was a senior in high school, I was in danger of not graduating because I was one credit shy of what I needed. So I had to do a bunch of extra credit things during my free period, like being a teacher's assistant, et cetera. One of those extra credit assignments was a librarian's assistant cataloging books and organizing and rec- uh, record collection. This was where I first learned about the song M- Making Whoopie. I thought the song was title was funny, but I turned out to also really love the song. Also, uh, my wife and I had our first date at the library should I have led with that? Yes, you should have. Ah, uh, Megan will be. Megan will be. Um, Megan says that when I was in third grade at our parish's fall festival, my best friend and I were tasked with getting people to go to bingo, which was being hosted in the school library. I don't remember anything else about that day, but I do remember walking around the ha- uh, the halls yelling, "Bingo in the library!" <laughs> <laughs> I bet you yelled it like that too. You um, have to. Uh, Melinda says, I used to work at the local library and a coworker had an interesting experience while checking the men's restroom at the end of the day. Buckle up. There was an older gentleman asleep on the toilet stall. She could not wake him up. She called the non-emergency number for the police and an officer had to come to help him uh, wake up and get on his way. That is something. Wow. Uh, Aaron says she remembers uh, at her local library uh, they wanted to start a recurring program with sleepovers at the library. Oh, boy. I remember going to the first one, making crafts, eating pizza, listening to stories. I had a lot of fun. But that, to my knowledge, they never did it again. That sounds I, like a Daniel Tiger episode. <laughs> <laughs> Spend the night in the library. Come on. When yeah. you get scared, just read a book. <laughs> That's right. You get it. Julie, and this is the last one in my opinion because I have so many questions, I'm not going to be able to move past it. Julie says, my middle school library where I was dropped on my head and passed out. What? As a middle schooler, you were dropped on your head and passed out? Julie, I need some answers and I need them stat. This is absurd. Yeah. Who was doing this to you? Hope you're okay. I hope that uh, next year we have a book coming out. Uh, yeah, and yeah. I hope we do lots of book signings in libraries. Yeah, I think it's going to be a big library book for sure. Uh, gonna go check, gonna go check out the Data Hallmark book. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Who was that? <laughs> oh me. <laughs> I'm Danny Library. <laughs>
Uh, we did it, everybody. We got one more day this week. Can you yeah, believe it? Yeah, we do. Already? One more day this unbelievable. week. Unbelievable. It really is unbelievable. Uh, and Dan, here's the question. Let's hear it. What makes up a truly wonderful, ugly Christmas sweater? Okay, okay. okay. We're going to get to that tomorrow. Until then, we're going to leave you with a um, not Palahaku, because he's too good for us now. Take it away, Trace. Take the day off. Now? Right now. You want me to do it now? Yeah, Trace, go. God is real, I think. But what if he's not? I think. No, I think he's real. <laughs> you know, Trace's secret is to keep every word she says one syllable. That way she never has to That's do any challenge. That's right, Ninja. That's right. Whoa. Hey, don't take my turn. I love Ninja. Come on, star, Ninjas. Hey. Hey. You think God's real? I do. Yeah. <laughs> take the day off.